Hey guys, it's your boy, Beth Moth. Have you missed me? I bet you have. Check it out, I'm all decked out for Halloween kind of type stuff. I recorded like two videos of me just talking to explain stuff. And I am tired of talking at this point. Plus, it's like, it's freaking 3am right now, as you can see here. Yeah, see, look at that. I'm tired. So, if any of you are wondering why I haven't been around so much, is because YouTube stopped monetizing my videos a while, a while back ago, excuse me. And just recently, they started monetizing my videos again. I don't know. I don't know why I'm making all these bodily noises right now. Oh, wait, you can't see that. Whoops. That's right. We have to go over to uh, this uh, this one. Yeah. Because I have unlisted videos that you guys can't look at. Because I have been gone for multiple reasons. So, along with YouTube not monetizing my videos, I kind of lost motivation to post videos recently. But... I had just been thinking like, hey, I'm because YouTube was like, you have copyright content, so you can't post any videos. So I just posted random videos here and there, meaningless stuff, just so YouTube could be like, oh, you're not using copyright content anymore. All right. And uh, finally, they started uh, monetizing my videos again, so I might be posting more often. And also because I have been working on an indie game. What? Oh, yeah, that's right. Here, let's go to this one. It's called Revenite. So there's this guy here, Doppler, that I'm friends with now, where we were on Instagram. Like, he followed me for a while, a while back ago. And eventually, like, as I was editing pictures and stuff, I made, like, a profile picture for him where it was, like, this little robot here. And, I, I, like, after a while, I talked to him and everything. And then he was like, oh, yeah, we're, so we're making this indie game. Like, that's what this robot's from. I'm like, what? No way. So, like... After a while, I was like just just kind of like a fan of this game, basically. And um, later on, I was just like, man, you should make me as like the lead pixel artist of this game. Now it'd be cool. Ha ha. And he was like, if you want, you can help us out with the game. I'm like, what? No way. And then like, just like that, I'm helping out with the game now. And it's cool. I've done like, that was in uh, June. And ever since then, I've just been helping out like crazy with the game pretty much any way possible that I can, trying to spread the word any say perform the game is uh been in development for about like seven months now maybe like uh or at least since march i believe we only have like 300 followers here and the game's looking really cool it's like a 3d platformer game that's very story driven here we just released the first uh pre-alpha gameplay footage of the game and like a lot of stuff and it's amazing like doppler made like pretty much all the modeling for everything here there's like one or two people that actually did the coding. Th probably like three people at most that did the coding. But like there's, from what I heard, I think just like one dude was did like most of it, I think. We've got like that place over there, which is Song Valley. If we go back here. Yeah, that this is Song Valley here. And we've got this one character here whose name is Kira Song. And let's see, where'd I go? Where was it? Uh, here we go. Ah, stop glitching out. Come on. Alright, there we go. This is Song Valley here. This is where Kira lives, I think. <laughs> I, I can only assume, really. I don't know a whole lot about the game. But this here is a little robot, and his name is Red. Such a fitting name. <coughs> I feel like I'm losing my voice because I've been talking so long, and I need water. <clears throat> Look, there's Kira right there. Go back. There she is, by a little, little fire. Yeah. And I remember, like, I asked, uh, I asked Doppler a whole bunch. I was like, why are these little islands floating? He's like, oh, it's because of this and this. And then, like, wow, even as I'm looking now, I'm just like, whoa, what he explained. That's why this is, looks this way. What? Man, I wish I could tell you guys, but I don't know if I can, technically speaking. And I feel like I've been left out of a lot of potential spoiler-heavy information on purpose. But not, like, on a personal level, just because, like, you know... Just uh, because Doppler and his one other guy, Beads, are like the main writers for this game, I believe. And uh, they know each other like in person, like in real life, because like I think they go to school together or something. And they both write, uh, they're both writers for the game. Uh, so I'm pretty sure most information about the game just like is between them and they don't really share it with everyone in the, in the Revenite team or whatever, I guess, because everyone is just everywhere everyone lives everywhere at the moment and like 
there we have some people in like other countries and other states and everything all across the world and this is like everyone's first time with develop uh, developing a game i seriously need to get some water but <laughs> anyways uh we've got this little robot red here and he's got like three little levels i don't know how that'll work but like eventually he'll get faster and faster i guess as we can see here I was a little worried about him being too fast, but this is a small little air, little demo area. Plus, I was told that the gameplay, uh, like, the size of the levels would compensate for the speed. And there is a reason why Red is this fast, which... Actually, yeah, I can tell you that. I can. Um, so, like, Red was, like, originally made to be, like, kind of like a... Basically an Amazon... Am, Amazon... Amazon drone, basically in a sense, not not literally, but you know, as figure his feats. He would deliver stuff and like that's why he's super fast. But basically uh he stopped working for whatever reason. I guess he they were I think they were like mass produced, I don't really know. And basically he delivers stuff to people super fast, so that's why he's really fast. And then Kira is like a self taught engineer. What a flex there man. How do you even teach yourself to be an engineer? That's crazy. And she fixed up Red. And now they're friends, I guess. And, uh... So basically, that's that, really. Uh, I don't want to, like, talk too much about it to get into spoilers, because then that will actually get into spoiler-type related stuff. And, um... Yeah, like, you're just going through the story and everything, I guess. And there's, uh... I don't really know a whole lot, <laughs> to be honest. I've been left out of a lot of story. I've been left a lot of, uh... Yeah, I'm mixing up my words. It's 3 a.m. Jeez, what do you expect? Um, there's a lot of information I don't know about the game, uh, plot-wise, so it may seem kind of confusing to me explaining it, but still, please trust me, because, like, every time I ask any question about the game, it's not just like a, oh, I don't really know kind of answer. It's like, it's a dead-on, like, this is the reason why, so the game has been very thought out. I believe the lore will be explained better in-game, maybe, in some ah, in some way or another. So, just keep mindful of that. I've been working on this game, like, a ton, like, with art and stuff recently. Like, just, like, crazy. I actually designed this little logo here. Um, you can buy some merchandise to help fund the game because, you know, like I said, this is everyone's first time. And also, no one's getting paid to do this. So, that's also why the game's probably taking a little bit slower because, you know, people are more motivated when they're paid, you know, obviously. Not that people don't like this game that are working on it still. It's pretty great. But still, um, like I did this little drawing here for of Red whenever I first saw him. Just a little doodle, and I made this like more like concept art type type drawing, whatever, of him in Yoji Forest, which was actually sewn off right around here. But this was based on an earlier depiction of Yoji Forest that was a lot more gray and less colorful than it's sewn right here. Really, it was a lot darker um, color wise. I think we have some footage of it right here yeah um here is like yoji forest as it looked a lot darker looking and here it is now looks a lot more colorful very nice uh how long has it been so far it's been only eight minutes wow i'm doing great on time then before i was on like 20 minutes and i barely explained anything so that's that so yeah i'd recommend checking out the game as much as possible staying up to date on instagram and twitter Twitter isn't as up to date with stuff, but that's also because like we had someone that was uh, on the Instagram account because it was managed by like um, some other person too in the team. But after a while, we're just like ah, they're take they're kind of being a bit silly, playing around with the yeah account. So now only Doppler manages it. So I might can I might I think I might ask him like if I could like run the Twitter account and maybe Instagram. I don't know, just like to just so he's not doing literally everything but at the same time like um i don't like putting out stuff that isn't canon or hasn't been agreed on which is kind of a limitation because um since uh doppler he lives a good few states away from me maybe like four hours three four hours away from me so i clearly can't talk to him like oh whatever go over to your house or whatever you know and, like, getting a hold of him is a little bit tricky because, like, you know, Discord and stuff, plus he's constantly working the game. We're just both of us having our own life situations, you know. I've got college and everything. 
and like I would love to just ask him like on the spot be able to just be like hey is it okay I post this whatever but you know uh, everyone's busy with their own things obviously I'm pretty sorry I probably could he usually does get back to me on stuff relatively quick and I just don't realize because like I'll usually ask someone a question on like discord leave for like three hours and then realize they responded like almost immediately so that's probably on me maybe I could just moderate or something I do however moderate like the the discord server the public discord server here where I actually recently just changed the little uh, discord server and a fun little thing about this here is uh we're having this little Revenite carve art contest I wasn't in, I didn't name it that but I brought up the idea in the group chat like hey we should have a contest f to see uh, for October for people to carve uh, do pumpkin carvings of like maybe Revenite characters or whatever and whoever does the coolest one uh, they get some prizes or whatever. I, I don't even think I s mentioned prize I just said we should have a contest that'd be cool just to promote Revenite but then he decided it could be uh, pumpkin carvings and fan art which we have got literally no submissions yet because no one knows about this game yet still and plus the people that are following us probably just aren't that great of artists and I'm not saying that in a mean way it's just because, you know, not everyone's an artist. Not everyone can draw, you know? A lot of people, it's just not their thing. So, it's only got 100 likes here so far. And, like, the chances of someone being, like, really into drawing isn't that high, I guess, you know? I would say, like, 3 out of 10 fans of any game are artists that are confident enough to post their drawings, maybe. I'm not too sure. And, like, uh, you know, it, it, like, not everyone's an artist. And it's easy to understand. But basically, uh, anyone out there who is an artist or knows an artist, or, you know what, you don't even have to be an artist at that point. It's just a pumpkin carving. Everyone's draw Everyone makes pumpkin carving. So, like, it doesn't even have to be good. Like, it, it really doesn't have to be good, honestly. Just submit, just to have fun, you know? Um, you can do, like, I don't know, whatever. You can do the little Revenite logo, or... Maybe try making Red or Kira, Hyun, whatever. It doesn't really matter. But you know why you definitely should enter either way? Because one, no one's entered so far, so you could get some pretty rad prizes. We've got some promotional artwork here that's only for the for the contest, which I semi-leaked on accident. So I, I didn't realize this was only for the poster when I made like a mock-up uh, artwork or mock-up Nintendo Switch case. Uh, if, for a sec, let me see. Actually, I think I deleted it recently, so yeah. Um, this art right here, like the full resolution picture of it, I, like a big chunk of like right here to here was sewn like on the, the Switch box, so I recently deleted that picture. And, you know, I don't think I'm going to sew it. I don't think I'm going to sew it on in my Instagram post. I might like delete that one too, or whatever. It's kind of blurry because like I actually printed it out. But anyways, that was only meant for this. So now that that's already out there and people see that, they know what that looks like entirely, I guess. Which is what I can assume why these pictures weren't entirely sewn on purpose, you know? So you could be like, oh, I want to see what it looks like, you know? Also, there is a character in the background of this one here. I'm not going to say who or what because no one knows what they look like. And I don't think I have a reference picture of them. Um, I saw this picture like one time only and there is full resolution like 4k wallpapers you could download of this image here but now you can't because I believe uh, probably because this is for the contest now but anyways um, I'm getting off topic a little bit you can get these cool posters here and also the Revenite OST original it's a oh it's special alpha edition soundtrack so whenever this game becomes super famous, you have the alpha music, alpha OST of ga of music that probably may or may not still be in the game, if not altered a little bit. So it's still cool to just have that, whatever. But like, it's really cool. And like, he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to have prizes or whatever, physical prizes. But yeah, they will be sent out to people who actually submit. So honestly, anyone... And I mean anyone can just submit to this point and they probably will win because almost no one will be submitting. So if you want basically almost free merch for a game that's like going looking really cool, heck, do it. <laughs> like pretty much no one submit to it yet. So really, the chance is yours to get free stuff. So honestly, 
yeah. Um, I don't really know what more to say about it so far, really. The game's looking really cool. You can also get, like, hats and stuff in the game. I believe this will be one you can get. There is customizable skins, which I said that we should call them costumes instead of skins because the last thing we need is people being like, oh, like, uh, because they're called red costumes, like, because his name is red, so it's like red's costumes. So I said we shouldn't call them skins because the last thing we need is people saying, oh, Revenite's racist because it has red skins. I'm like, oh, no, that's not good. And then... I was telling him, we should call them costumes, not skins. And he's like, no, they're, they're skins. I'm like, I tell him that. And he's like, oh my god, we need to call them costumes. We cannot call them skins. I can already see that being terrible. So, they're costumes, not skins. Even though they basically are skins. Because, like, there's no real costume to it, but whatever. We could just call them alternate costumes, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, or maybe, did I say something? I don't know if I said it or not, but the game's changing a whole lot all the time. Like, Hyun right here. Um, his chin is a lot more narrow right here than right here. So, like, everyone's being, like, tweaked with all the time. And, uh, yeah, there's, the game's just changing a whole lot. So, if you want to get some really cool merts, then you can get some right here. I mean, you can't even buy this, dude. You have to enter the contest for this. So, like, that'll be, like, limited rare merchandise you get, right, basically. Not even merch, but, like, prizes. Rare prizes you can't get anywhere else. Probably won't be available to anyone else either. So, if you want, you actually can get some merchandise right here. Um, there's, like, this little uh, red icon that I made. I actually made this little logo. There's the Revenite logo, like, the... The word logo and the actual symbol, you can get that on t-shirts and other clothing, which is super cool. If you go to the link tree right here, which I will link the link tree in this video. Haha, <laughs> link. We got the merchandise right here, which is basically right here. Oh wait, no it's not. <laughs> it's this one. Which is actually this one. It's some pretty cool merchandise. You can get the logo on a phone case, sticker, mug, socks other clothes and stuff and get you can even get the little red that I designed on some other stuff too all the money made off of this will not be profited it will go straight into the game if that wasn't obvious enough a lot of work's been going into this we have like zero we have like no budget for this game really it's just been what we can make off of like like the game has literally been made all by by Doppler basically as in modeling wise because I asked him about it and as you can see here, uh, everything, like, nothing here has a real texture on it. Kira doesn't have any texture except for, like, her chest for, sa for like, sating and, uh, like, her face, which is a solid texture. Her face is entirely smooth, kind of like an Animal Crossing. And I kind of like that. It's really cool. But the only texture here um, is literally their faces and Red's eyes, basically. Everything else is solid, so... There's no bump maps or anything on this. It's very polygonal, minimalistic type style too, on purpose, which is really cool. It's uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's a nice excuse, I guess you could say, for having a polygonal approach to it and not having its things look super detailed. Which uh, having it's having something stylized like this is a is a really good. Uh, I I hate to say excuse, but like reason to have a polygonal or. So, uh, what's it? Bleh. A simple design. It's a very, like, simple kind of type design. Like, not too many colors, but, you know, you don't really need too many colors, I guess. You don't really need too much going on them. You don't have, need some weird special patterns on all over him. It's just, like, he's pretty recognizable just looking at him. Look at that. He just looks nice. Look at him. He's freaking adorable. Anyways, how long has it been now? It's been 20 minutes now, and I've explained everything just about. So... That's Revenite. So, yeah, you should really check out the game. We're working on it, like, all the time, constantly. I make, I'm working on stuff for this, the game, like... Currently, I actually made, like, some little pumpkin stencils that I think I might make available to everyone. Doppler doesn't know about it yet. Well, I sewed him one, but I think I might just make it public to everyone. Just be like, you know what, screw it, whatever. At the same time, I think I'm going to sew them all of them first. And then just ask him, like, is it cool if I sew everyone? Because, like, you know... So maybe people enter the contest once they have like a little stencil, you know? It'll just make it a little bit easier. Uh, 
just be like, here you go. Plus, it's just cool for promotional stuff. Because someone, maybe someone's not good at carving. Then it's like, now you have a little stencil you can use to do over it. I'll talk to them about that. I'm going to show them about it. And I might promote it on the Discord server, which we have one. If you didn't see here. We've got the YouTube channel for uh, the Revenite uh, Majoris Media right here. And merchandise, yeah, you can get that. We've got a Discord server right here. Um, we make announcements about the game every so often. Not like super, there's not a lot of updates to really talk about. Nothing big to talk about really because most of it's like uh, story-wise story stuff that's being updated really. But the carve art, uh, Revenite carve art contest, definitely, definitely enter if you want to. Well, you know, there's really no risk in doing it, honestly. No one's submitting to it, so you could be like the only winner and just win everything. Heck. So, you know, free stuff for, for a Revenant, you know? That's really cool. Anyways, uh, you can check out the server. No one's really talked a whole bunch in the server. Um, any questions you have on the, the game and everything will be answered to the best of our abilities, I guess. So, it's a cool place to hang out just to talk to the actual people working on the team, which I am already talking with because, you know, I'm a team member of the game. And, uh... Also, if any one of you are interested in helping out with the game in any way, keep in mind, we are not paid for this because we have no way to pay for this. Because this is the first time for everyone. So no one's getting paid. Uh, so keep that in mind. This is purely, I guess you could say a passion project, but I think it will cost around, like, it was said if the game was to cost money, it could be around $15 maybe, depending on how well the game turns out, you know? Um, I would assume it would cost money, maybe. Uh, also, another thing I wanted to point out is that a Switch release, I would love to see a Switch release, but um, that might be a, lot, a thing that lots of people would ask about. I would strive for it. At the same time, we need to first finish the game, but if the game does get finished and everything, I think it's in everyone's best interest to try and get a Switch port, because, you know, Getting a port of your game on a Switch is probably the best thing you could do because, you know, like, it's it's a lot of exposure, you know? You can play it at a house, you can play it somewhere, like, you could have the somewhat chance of you playing it on the subway and someone's like, oh, hey, what game is that? You know, it looks really cool. And then you talk to them about it, etc. Anyways, if you guys want to help out with Revan Knight, remember, not getting paid. This is purely for fun, and it really is cool. I mean, think of it this way. You're getting, like... You're helping out with a game, you know? Like, 30 years ago, maybe you couldn't even... You couldn't do that. It was just big companies. You're... Like, indie games are freaking awesome, dude. So, you can get... It. If any of you are good with music, concept art, programming, 3D modeling, writing, voice acting, any of those, just go ahead. Music, we have plenty... We have... Uh, we got plenty of music artists, but, you know, not everyone is posting and keeping up to date all the time, so the more the merrier, really. That applies to all of these. So it's like, we've got a ton of people working on the game, but at the same time, we don't have as many people, like, checking in with the game as much, because, you know, everyone's got their own lives. So the more the merrier. I think the most important would be programming and 3D modeling, because, like I said, if I did say it, uh, Doppler's the only one doing 3D modeling. He's the only one that did all of this, basically, and programming, you can never have enough programmers, honestly, when it comes to something like this. Programming is, like, super essential for video games, and, like, that would be really great to, if anyone could help out with that. Concept art, uh, texture, promo art, that's basically what I'm doing. Um, I tried with the 3D modeling, but I'm not that great at it, honestly. I understand how it works a little, but I'm not really that great with it. Like, I wouldn't say it's the best thing I'm, the thing I'm best at. So... Writing, music, all that, voice acting. We got a bunch of voice actors, too. I'm actually voicing a character, which is going to be really cool, but the thing is, I'm voicing a character that I think is going to be, like, more of a strong position, I guess. So I'm like, that's not really the kind of, uh, I don't know, the person I would want to voice, but whatever, I'm not going to argue with it. I'm voicing a character that's cool enough as is, you know? Anyways, uh... We, we still don't know a whole lot about that character, to be honest. Like, their, their character, that character is basically just a name at this point. And it's like, I think this is what they're going to be like so far. We haven't talked about them, when, and like, 
they're a little further in the game, so we don't really need to worry about that so far right now. Um, so I'm not too worried. I'm not going to be like, I don't want to voice this character. Like, no, I'd love to voice a character, like, no matter what, really. Plus, if they don't like my voice, they're probably just going to change with someone else. I'm still helping out a lot with this game. Um, so yeah, if you guys would like to help out, Discord, or not Discord, <laughs> the link tree is right here. You can, um, it's on right here. I'm also going to put the link tree on the description, like I said earlier. <clears throat> and this, vi this video went from, like, me talking about why I'm not on YouTube to just talking about uh, Revenant, Knight, basically, which this game really needs more attention it, it needs a lot more love than it's getting not that it's like getting hate or anything it doesn't have any hate whatsoever because it's still new but i think it deserves a lot more love really it's looking really great so far it's it's looking pretty amazing and just like double has been working on this game like non-stop like every day basically and like taking breaks like every so often like i would say he's working like a tenth as hard as like master hero sakurai's on smash bros and I don't mean like a tenth as in like a little bit. I mean because, you know, like, you know, Masahiro Sakurai, the guy who made Smash Bros. is like freaking insane for making, like, working hard, you know. So that's already saying a lot, I believe. Like, he's, he's working really hard on it. Everyone else is working pretty hard, too. So, yeah, there's merchandise, all that. I was also going to say I have a link tree, too, but I'm, I doubt anyone actually is still listening in the video. <laughs> um, I think I have it on my YouTube channel, actually, yeah. I put the link tree right here um, on my channel. I have an eShop, and there's my YouTube channel because I have a QR code for my link tree that I'm just going to be just slapping around everywhere, whatever, I guess. I can just slap on stuff, so it has my YouTube, Instagram, as a Revenite merch, Revenite wallpaper. Oh, wait, is that still there? Oh, wait, that's stuff I made. Oh, yeah, I made little uh, a little devil red. <laughs> for like Halloween it's adorable um there, there's the Revenite merch the Revenite's link tree you can check it out because I'm supporting them as much as I can it's, it's great there's my website which I have not updated in forever my server my Twitter Twitch and Giphy which I'm gonna on Giphy I'm trying to make like a get uh what's it called verified on there I guess so I can post my gifts on Instagram and then maybe I can get one of red so people can use that on Instagram, you know, I can just do it from promotional stuff. But my eShop, that's what I wanted to talk about next. My eShop. I have merchandise you guys can buy. And it's really cool. I really like the designs of everything I made. It's great. I'm so tired. This is like the second video I made where I'm just talking like about Revenite and then I'm like, oh, then I'll talk about my stuff and everything. But so you can go right here. There's my website where you can look at all the designs. Basically, you just go to the red bubble that I made here. And there's all the little designs I made. You can get them all here. Oh my god, I'm so tired of talking. I've been talking for like at least an hour now of just re-recording videos. So like I have the little black and white Beth Moth minimalistic kind of type design on them. And it's really cool. You can get it like in a black shirt or you can get it in a, in a white or... Yeah, a white shirt, black and white, different logos, whatever. You can get this little design on basically anything. Freaking anything, anything. You can get the, like, like, there's lots of combinations you can get. You can get the white on red, the white on blue, the black on red, the black on blue, etc. You can even get, like, the black on red or the black on blue with uh, Japanese kanji on it, which looks pretty cool. And really, there's like a lot of customization you can do with this. Like, you can get it like this, you can get it like this, you can get it on freaking on a coffee mug, on a bed, anything. So, really, just go check it out. There's plenty of designs on there that are really cool. I'm going to update with more designs eventually. Um, you can get like most of these on stickers, uh, but I, I pray to God you do not freaking get like the white logo on a white shirt. Please do not be that guy to get a white logo on a white shirt. Or like the black logo on a black shirt. Please don't be that guy, alright? That would really suck to just waste your money on that. For a, for an expensive white shirt. Or an expensive black shirt, you know? But anyways. Go check this out. Play around with it. There's lots of different designs. I'm going to make another video for talking about this. So, yeah. 
stay tuned for that. I'm definitely not re gonna record now because I'm like at the I'm at breaking point right now when it comes to talking. So yeah, go check this out. I'm gonna explain more in another video, which I've been already meaning to make a video explaining about it. Uh, but thanks guys for actually listening. If you've been listening for the whole 30 minutes, god dang. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.